Well, well, well. It's been a little while, hasn't it? It has. This year, 2020, has been absolutely one for the books, one for the records. One to hopefully forget. Who we kidding? We're never gonna forget this. I wanted to start my YouTube channel years ago because I wanted to talk about why I love being a photographer so much. Not just teach you how to take pictures. There's like a zillion channels out there showing you tech stuff and teaching you what lens to do and what lighting and yes, you need to learn all those things. But if you're gonna stay in business as a photographer, this is your only income, this is it your camera and you, then you better love what you do. Many people have jobs that they like a little bit, maybe like enough. Very few people can say that they love their career. And I'm thankful that I am one of those people. Um, so why I love being a photographer. Well, it's a couple of selfish reasons and a couple of bigger than me reasons. Um, the selfish reasons is I kind of get VIP access no matter where I go, any job I have. I am the dude. I need to work. I need to move. I need backstage. I need under the stage. I need on top of the stage. Who's that? The president? I need to photograph him. I have had a lot of really awesome jobs in my career and I honestly had no idea what I would be able to do as a photographer, and um, I've been very nicely impressed, man. I really have. So the job does have its perks. Um, you know, the, the bigger than life reasons are one thing. How awesome is it that if you're photographing people for a living, how awesome is it that you are a part of their life, their life event, something that was a big deal for them and to make that kind of impression that they want the world to know how good you are or how awesome of an experience they had with you and then for them to keep coming back to you for your service and for you it's more for you because over time you should get better as a photographer anything you do for a living you should get better at it over time so that's the greater in life the bigger than life reasons. The, um, the selfish reasons of why I like being a photographer varies as well. And uh, some of those reasons are personal, so I won't be discussing them here. But I can tell you this. I captured the circle of life. Meaning, my brides have babies. We photograph their babies. Their babies grow up. My brides from 20-something years ago, now their kids are starting to uh, get married or they're a high school senior. And for them to call me after all these years is an absolute humbling experience. Humbling. So when people want to be a photographer, they look at what, you know, what camera should I get and what should I charge, I'll just be fine. No, you won't. If you're working with people, then you better love people. You should love helping people. Because for somebody to, for somebody to tell me, hey George, you're self-employed, it must be good uh, not having a boss. I'm like, are you kidding me? I am more stressed as a self-employed business person than you are working for a company where you have a job or a manager or two above you. You make them happy and your life is golden. Every single person that comes through my doors are my bosses. Every single one. And making every single person, which is very different by the way, not everybody is the same, but to Make everybody as happy as you possibly can and deliver them a good quality product and have them actually want to come back to you. More or less say, hey world, go check out George. He's doing something really good over there. That is the why. The why is 
way more important than how pretty is your picture and what camera do you have. That's why it, it, it bums me out when somebody says, oh, you went from uh, Canon to Fuji after 24 years, how is it? I'm like, bro, it doesn't matter. Give me your camera. Give me that little film camera, dude. Give me anything and I can make it work. I, will, I know how to make beautiful images with a camera because the basic knowledge is the same, all right? So it doesn't matter what camera you're using. Now, the quality of the, of the digital chip, yeah, I get it. But you still have to understand that we're in the year 2020, and there is a herd of people out there shooting film and charging a lot to shoot film. And they still have a lab that they got to send the film to to get scanned. And there's still processing involved. There's a look. If film is, is as good as any digital camera today, then you got some soul searching to do. It's not your Sony, it's not your Nikon, Canon, Fuji, Pentax, Olympus. It's, it's none of that stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to pause for a second. I know it's been a minute since I've made any videos and I just want you to know that I want to do more videos on the whys. Why I love being a photographer and why I am still giddy every morning, man. And even though I have a hard day, right now, December for me, by the way, another reason why you're not seeing me, I am super, super, super busy with holiday sessions. We're still doing business headshots, corporate groups, but all the holiday people need things done yesterday because of the deadline for Christmas, you name it. I'm just busy and my job comes before YouTube, okay? And I can't wait for things to slow down, which they will, trust me. Our COVID restrictions are getting worse again and we'll get, they're gonna be pumping the brakes come January. So I'm staying as busy as I can. Um, I'm burning a candle at both ends because when it's not here, it's not here. And that also is the difference of being self-employed and working for somebody else. If the business is here, I'm doing good. If the business is not, I don't collect a check. So let me ask you a question. How bad do you want it? What is the fire inside of you burning that you wish you were doing? Or maybe you just started and you're starting to give up on yourself. What is burning inside of you? And how bad do you want it? I just turned 49 years old. My birthday was December 4th. I'm just getting started, people. Trust me on this. I'm glad you're here. If you haven't done it yet, think about subscribing. It helps my channel. Any links that I have in my description as far as if you want some equipment or you're looking for something, if you just use the links, um, it validates me as a channel and those businesses know that I'm sending people their way. It doesn't do anything to you. It just gives you a link to go somewhere. So I'm glad you're here for the journey. There is more to come, I promise you. Um, let's just all pray that the COVID scenario does get better because many, many businesses need it to get better. All right, stay focused on your dream, y'all.